Oh, yeah. assume so. Talk about the, the flood of emotion after the fight. I mean, you broke, broke into tears. Like, what's the feeling like? Yeah, um, I kind of explained it right after the fight. Like, um, Ryan told me I only get two cries this camp because I like to cry a lot. So, first one was when I seen Yancy Medeiros' uh, parents while I was walking back up to my room. And then, um, after I won, I just, I was just like, just, I can let it out now because usually I like to cry like, right before the fight, but I was like, no, hold it and then let it go. Obviously, this is something I can imagine you've been wanting to do for a long time, standing here talking about your victory in the UFC. How does it feel to finally get it done? Third time's a charm, right? Yeah, third time's a charm, exactly, because that's what I've been thinking. Like, my last two fights were so, I came so close to winning and I just never really got it. So, this whole camp, I was really focused on just like, okay, you know, just imagine, imagine what it feels like to win and to like, you know, think of what you're going to talk about when you win. Like, obviously, never got that far, but, but I'm here now and. You know, I just, I just so overwhelmed with happiness and just happy that I got the W finally. You were pretty high on that choke, and for some of us, it didn't look like you had it sunk in mm -hmm. pretty deep. But uh, did you think yeah. you were gonna get it this time? Um, honestly, at first, um, I had like I didn't even have the choke in. It was like uh, like across the nose and the mouth, and I was like, okay. If I just lift her head up a little, I can sink my arm in. But I was really high, so it was like like a balance kind of thing because I only had one hook in. So once I like lifted up her her chin, I like made sure I just stuck. I got the um, arm in and I felt it. And I was just like, okay, just hold on now, just squeeze, because I know I only had like a minute left. I don't know. But some, yeah. Considering that you were coming from two, you know, two straight losses, how much of a sense of urgency did you feel, you know, going into this fight? Because obviously, you guys started off with a bang. Yeah, um, I, was, I was, I felt a lot. Of, uh, I knew it was urgent, but like for some reason, what, right when I got in there, I wasn't moving. I was like get, moving straight back and not using my angles like I was doing during practice. So it was, it was kind of a crazy feeling because I didn't really feel like I was there yet because I was taking a little bit of punches, but. Um, um, I, it was her punches weren't as hard, so I think like I was just like, okay, take punches and then just find you know find any mistakes that I can of hers, and I took her back. So, yeah. And what what do you attribute that to? But you know, you, you kind of stalled up a little bit and moved back. But, you know, was like the pressure of having to perform and the risk of getting caught, or I think, you think it was? I think so. It's because I always I per always perform so well, and I think like I just got a little bit caught up and like just I got stuck, and I just. Just, it's, it's tough, you know, as a fighter, like, you go in there with expectations for yourself and you just really want to win and you really want to do good because you know you're capable of winning and you know what you're capable of. So I think I just got in there and I was like, a li like I thought too forward ahead. I got a little stuck, but I came up with a W. So when did you finally get comfortable then? Because if you were stuck early, what, what clicked? Um, I think it was when I, I felt her pressure and her punches and, and there were certain times when I would come up off the cage and like get her with a right and, I, and she would like one punch of mine and she was turning her face already so I think like I was just like okay like you know she know, she feels my power she knows my strength if I can I can take her punches like I'm, I'm doing okay um, I think that's just what what kept me going and then also when she was going in for the takedowns and stuff she didn't feel as strong so I think it's just like a reaction thing and when you're in the fight you can feel another person's strength and, and you know just their energy so yeah and now that you do have your first victory here in the UFC you know where do you see yourself going from here is there a, obviously you're you know not so far into it but yeah. anyone in particular that stands out to you as a potential opponent I want to rematch with Paige for sure because okay. I feel like I feel like her and I both came in in the beginning we debuted against each other. We got fight of the night, and 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 she's come a, a long way. You know, she's headlining tonight, so that's awesome. Good for her. But I just feel like I'm good enough, and I'll I want to I'll, I'll somehow end up rematching her. And anyone in our division right now is, is a great match for me. I mean, I know we're all in, we're all in this for the same thing. So anybody. Oh, great. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you.